almost all the time this I am is contacting the mind is going to the mind and at least you begin to see the influence and the presence also of the habit of associating with the mind but don't give up Postman come today. Dear, dear Muji, please speak about meditation. Uh, love from Tov. Tov. But meditation, meditation. Best meditation, simple meditation, anybody can do it. But we're not going to call it meditation. I don't want to use a name because it becomes something else. But the best, if what you're asking, this uh, feeling, the natural feeling of being inside this body, uh, the sense, I exist. It is common to all the sentient beings have this feeling, I exist. Not just the words, I exist, the intuition, the feeling of presence, the way in which you know you are alive. Nobody gave it to you. It just is present. Eh? It is the voice of the life force and the consciousness. It is saying, I am. This pulsation is inside. Only after this arises, then perception of otherness can come. This is the earliest manifestation of the Absolute. Hmm? in the dance of multiplicity. This must first be there, the original seed, hmm? the seed of existence. The feeling I am or I is synonymous with that, it's identical. You are to know this. When you say I, I is consciousness. It is the godly principle in the form. It is already there. It is already there. But it reveals itself in the waking state Hmm? And in the dreaming state, when consciousness is available, it manifests itself as I. So I and consciousness, they are one. Know that. Somehow, as soon as consciousness makes itself known to itself as the feeling I am, it gets associated with the body. It starts to identify with the body and start to feel I am the body. But it is not the body. It is only I am. It is only I am but it says, I am the body. And once this I am the body feeling forms, a new identification arises as me, the person, the personal. This is a modification arising out of the pure feeling, the intuition, I am. I just want to say this thing. And it becomes now, even when the feeling is there, I am the body, this I am the body feeling comes out of consciousness. Huh? It is supported by consciousness. And this is why the personality feels real. Not because it by itself is real, but because the root of the personality is the consciousness. And it is the consciousness that you love. I was making an example a few days ago. I said, if a being came and said, I am very pleased with you, so much so that I am offering you the entire world. I give it to you, because I love you so much. But one thing, you have to exchange what I have to give you for consciousness. I give you the universe, you give me your consciousness. Would it be of any value for you? No. Because without consciousness, nothing, no perception, nothing can be tasted. Not even the sense of existence will be there for you, like this. So the consciousness is that important, and it is already established. You don't have to go somewhere else to find consciousness. That is foolishness, because the very I that you feel is itself consciousness. But because this consciousness has somehow developed a limitation onto itself by identifying with the body, it starts to look for consciousness. This is how absurd it all becomes when the identity, I am the body, is functioning 
and you don't realize that this arises out of a purer consciousness, unassociated consciousness. So having said this, I leave it there for a moment. I'm going to tell you what I have to tell you now. The sense I am is already there with you, unsupported. It is there. But it has a tendency, a kind of reflex, to identify as the body. And you must watch this. Try to isolate the feeling I am. And don't let it contact any other concept, belief, memory, intention, desire, attachment, images. Keep it by itself. Just a feeling of being. Now, I know how easy that becomes. But maybe sometimes you may feel this is very difficult to do. Because when I try to do this, I realize how attached I am to my mind. Almost all the time, this I am is contacting the mind, is going to the mind. And at least you begin to see the influence and the presence also of the habit of associating with the mind. But don't give up. Feel the sense of existence, natural sense I am. Just here, it is here with you. Inseparable from you. When you say I, this is the real, this is the real source and being of I. It is consciousness. And it is formless. It is formless. But when it's in the body, it starts to believe I am the body. So don't be aware of this. I am the body feeling. Leave it. Leave it be there. This I am the body feeling is appearing in the consciousness itself. Just feel the natural sense, I am. And don't associate it with anything else. In the beginning, some people find a lot of noise come. Like a tsunami of thought come. That is okay. In fact, don't be disturbed by this. Why this comes is because of the very power of trying to isolate the I am. Keep this, keep this exercise going and gradually you'll begin to feel a sense of separation. Just the feeling of presence and the feeling, the closeness of thoughts will feel like they're drifting away and the presence will feel more strengthened. Stay with this. And what you will come to see gradually is the feeling I am the body or I am an object or anything else become weak and only there is a supreme beautiful presence here unassociated and the perfume arising out of this this isolation of the intuition of the feeling I am the perfume coming out is peace a natural joy spaciousness and an intuitive knowing or conviction that I have no beginning and end. You will know this. Don't study this. Don't look at it in a book. You will know it arising out of your own book. Just this you do. Not three, four, five things. Hold on only to the sense I am. Allow it to marinate in itself. Don't add any more herbs and spices from anywhere else. Let it stay by itself. You can call it meditation or nothing. Don't call it nothing. Just uh, do this. Don't put any titles around it. Don't try and make it into something special. Just by yourself you do this. If you sit quietly, five, seven minutes, get used to this feeling. Because the beingness, it, it, it enjoys to be by itself. For a while it is in association with these other qualities, but these qualities, they are temporary. Then these qualities and the association with them begin to disturb the being. It wants to get rid of them. So this simple exercise of keeping the beingness to itself, this is the most mm, beautiful, most powerful, most potent mm, meditation you can call this thing. But don't tell anybody it's meditation. Just you do it. Soon you are going to love it so much that you will not want to practice anything else. Just do this. This is the first, uh, most potent and simple aspect of self-inquiry. It is an aspect of self-inquiry. And it is the simplest instruction anybody can give you about this. Because it doesn't matter what religion you come from, 
doesn't matter what things you believe, even if you're an atheist, you can practice this. And you will come to find that fullness of being and presence. So sometimes I send people out, okay, go, you go with this. Now, don't forget about anything else. Don't practice any mantras. Don't do anything else. Just you stay with this. Practice this. Come back in a few days and share your findings with me. Adjust this. So I think that will deal with this question for the moment. This is enough for that. Anything else people will tell you, oh, there's another minute, forget about it. Anything more than this you don't need. Somebody will tell you, oh, there's another kind of meditation on the blue light, forget about it. Because the blue light will be seen by the I am. The I am is there first. The blue light is not seen the I am. The I am is seen the blue light. You will come to know the earliest. Everything else is secondary. Everything else you're perceiving is secondary, momentary. They come and go. They are appearances. And only this, the I amness itself, will lose all its, all the different garments, all the different colors that it's associating with. Like Eric was saying, I now I just want to be. I don't want more clothing now. This is what he's speaking. Don't want more thoughts. I don't want more belief. Don't want more experience. Just want to be naked. I mean, I don't want to associate with anything. Soon you are going to love it so much that you will not want to practice anything else. 